actually went plant-based or vegetarian right out of college. And um, oh. I immediately saw the changes because I would have these really difficult periods. And I and I had a, um, I had a, a intuition, an inkling that it had something to do with chicken wings because as a college student, that was the cheapest food. So I ate a lot of chicken wings. And so I stopped eating chicken. I'd already start, stopped eating pork and beef. And I was just down to chicken and I stopped it for a month and I was healed. <laughs> and so, you know, I realized, wow, plant-based works better for me. And then fast forward, I was in my mid forties and some digestive problems had just kind of come to a head. And um, I ended up doing a 10 day raw food cleanse. Uh, and it was a, a very intense cleanse. I had an amazing instructor and coach. And so I kind of retreated from my re environment and I just did full immersion, learned all about raw food and it just changed my world. So from 23 to 40, you know, I was doing a lot of, I wasn't doing a lot of meat, right? But I was doing a lot of pasta, a lot of bread, a lot of chips and a lot of the comfort foods that we're getting now in the grocery stores and, the, and which is the whole, you know, uh, premise for this talk is to help us understand now it's not just masks and gloves and you know disinfectant spray it and right. it's, a, it's about building this fortress because right. this is the temple and what happens is we're probably all before it's said and done going to be exposed to you know this virus that is circulating and so the determining factor is really our health and we already saw from italy um, from the studies that they're doing, that they're starting to do peer review studies and looking at the, um, you know, the pre-existing conditions and the things that put people more at risk besides age. But we're talking about hypertension. We're talking about, you know, high cholesterol. We're talking about diabetes. And so um, that really, you know, kind of separate the wheat from the shaft. So we all just have to focus on building our temple. And I know it's been challenging. Everybody's at home, you know, and it's tempting when we're in the stores that we want to get the things that are going to last. that have a long shelf life. But I tell you, those things, you know, they're not alive. And so um, when I went to raw food, I saw the difference in my body, in my digestion, in my energy level. Literally, um, I was very, very sick. I was sleeping like 20 hours a day. And when I went raw for just those 10 days, I know it was crazy. And that's what made me uh, commit to doing raw because I wasn't at the time, my children were like four and five and I was not, I was unable to take care of them and I was a stay at home mom. So that was my main wow. job. That was my job. And I was, wow. and my health didn't allow me to be on my job. So I knew I had to make a change. And, you know, part of it, my resistance was, Oh, is it going to taste good? And I have figured that thing out. So first of all, you know, black women, Black people have been for four to 500 years, you know, really taking nothing and making something, you know, taking the yeah. most dregs of the food, the waste and making it taste good. So if we can do that with something like, let's say, chitlins, <laughs> we can do we can season and make anything taste good. And one of the things that people don't understand in terms of going raw and going plant based and staying plant based is a lot of times we'll have, well, everyone, everyone has pathogens. And one of the main pathogens is candida and candida will coat your tongue. And so when I was going raw for the first time and I was eating these raw cucumbers, I was like, dang, they taste really, really good. And my instructor said, yeah, because you've never tasted uh cucumbers oh. before kind of like in the matrix <laughs> like you've never been alive before and it was true because i was born a colicky baby so that in essence you know i had digestive problems that were link linked to candida then i got the you know the high candida from my mom you know in in utero and so i probably always had a coated tongue and so that's why a lot of us lean on the the really you know, high flavor processed foods, the ramen noodles, the Doritos, because our tongue is numb, it's covered with this coating. But good news, wow. 
in three days of cleaning up your diet, you can really reduce your pathogens. So you're never going to get rid of your pathogens. You're always going to have worms, parasites, fungus, candida. They live with you. That's just how it is. And it's okay. But the only thing, we can't let them run the show. And we can't let them take all of the minerals and vitamins from us, right? We got to be strategic about this. And, you know, if you're paying, you know, money for, you know, plant-based food by the pound, we can't give them, you know, the lion's share. <laughs> we got to we gotta get it for ourselves. And the good thing about it, and most of your uh, viewers, your listeners are going to know this, is that they don't like greens. They don't like alkaline foods. They don't like citrus. They only want sugar. They're sim simple organisms, so they want sugar. And so that's the first thing that I wanted to share because I have a list of things that I want to, um, you know, share with people about how to boost their immune system, how to fortify your temple so that you don't have to live in fear. You know that you've done everything that you can. So first of all, I'm agree with the karma. You know, she talked about cleansing. And so everything that I'm talking about in terms of going raw and plant based and the supplements and I have a bunch I want to share with you here. It means nothing if you're all gunked up because you won't be able to assimilate them. So we got to get that gut together, but we got to get that boo boo out. I mean, most of us are walking around with 25 to 35 pounds of waste in our colon. And we don't understand why we got a punch. You're like, oh, I used to have a flat stomach. Have an enema, have a colonic. You still have a flat stomach. <laughs> it's just that you got, it's like a kangaroo. You're carrying a lot in there. And people will say, well, you know, I go to the bathroom every day. And some people will like, they think once a day. No, you got to go three to five times a day right? You got to get it as much as you eat. That's how as much as you want to go. And Dr. Oz, he says three, at least three times a day, 12 inch um, formed snake, you know, like a snake shaped um, brown, low smell, unified color, meaning everything was absorbed out of it. Yeah, I know. Cause I don't know anybody who has perfect bowels like that, but that all gives us bowel goals. <laughs> And we need bowel goals because what happens is we think that our um, our bowel waste, our feces, are food, right? We think that. We say, oh, it goes in, it goes out. But a lot of it is lymph waste, uh, dead white blood cells, dead red blood cells. A lot of it is bacteria that the body has encompassed in mucus. A lot of it is because mucus actually is a soap. It's the body's way of cleaning. And so that's why if you already clean your colon, you, 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 you're in a much better place than if you if your body does succumb to a virus that that makes the body produce more mucus because you have already released the, the dead viruses, the parasites and all these things out of your colon. So, number one cleanse your colon. And so um, karma, she had mentioned uh, one form of calm. I'm, I'm on my calm too. And again, it's okay. um, magnesium citrate. And, and the reason why I love this as like a gentle laxative, because it also brings your uh, nervous system in a calm way. So most of us, because of how we farm in this country, we just kind of over farm the land. We don't feed the soil. Um, it doesn't have any uh, magnesium. And so that's why when we get some chocolate, we be going crazy. It tastes so good. We're like, oh, my God, give me some more of that. that because we, we, we are, most of us are magnesium deficient. So this is a way you can get some magnesium. And she had another brand. It doesn't matter. Um, they're just as good. And what you do is you scoop it, you put it in water, it's just a powder, and then it uh, has a slight effervescence, a uh, little popping, and it's sweet with sweetened with natural stevia, it's organic, it tastes good. It tastes a little bit like Sprite, right? I mean, I haven't had soda in a long time, but that's what it reminds me of, soda pop when I was a kid back in Detroit. And... Um, but the thing about it is relaxes the nervous system, but the body can only absorb so much magnesium. So when you take a lot of magnesium at the same time, it relaxes the bowels, which is what you want. You want to clean out. That's the first thing. Clean out, get all those 
uh, viruses out, get all those parasites out so that you lower your toxic load. So your, your immunological system is ready. It's not distracted because if you got a lot going on, it's going to be like, what should I do? Should I work on the this? Should I work on the cancer cell? Should I work on the virus? It is it, stretched, right? But if it's a clean system, it knows what to do. It's going to recognize and it's going to go to work. So um, the magnesium. So uh, also, I wanted to talk about the high dose vitamin C. Now, I don't know why, but they've been taking down my videos on Facebook, but I have videos from doctors in you know China. Huh? You know why. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I know why. <laughs> but I've been finding and getting these uh, videos from my cohorts, you know, other wellness professionals, because I'm a wellness coach. And so I get, you know, I look for peer reviewed studies and I try to get evidence based work because it's a lot of stuff we've been doing for thousands of years, you know, our ancient practices. But now we have the science to prove it. We don't have to just say, oh, I think this works. No, we know it works. And so in these peer reviewed studies, I've been getting these videos from doctors from China and they've been telling us high dose vitamin C that the family members who are taking people who are taking orally high dose vitamin C, they're not, they're not getting it, even though they're in close contact with the person. And there was one woman who was 74. She had diabetes and high blood pressure and she, and also coronary artery disease. And she was in, I think it was January 20th. She got diagnosed by February 22nd. She was in ICU and her daughter Beg, 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 said, please give my mother some high dose vitamin C IV in the IV. Uh -huh. And guess what? The mom came home. She recovered. Yeah. Right. So she beat wow. all the odds. She had three underlining conditions and she was in her mid 70s. So we can beat this thing. We can beat this yeah. thing. We, we just have to do what we know. So high dose vitamin C, I don't know why that's a secret because it actually has no side effects. I go to the American Clinics for Preventative Medicine, uh, Dr. Richardson. Yes, Clinton and Dr. Richardson. So they, they have high dose vitamin C. Now I only recommend the high dose vitamin C if you have symptoms and they have a protocol, they're seeing people. So I, I invite anyone interested in that. But um, in the meantime, at home, what I'm doing is I'm taking high dose vitamin C orally. We don't have any symptoms over here. And um, I'm taking uh, high dose vitamin C powder and it's non-GMO, of course, organic. I'm putting it in my water. I'm putting it in uh, making lemonade for the kids. They didn't like that. So I got some apple juice. I got some organic apple juice and it's so sweet. And I put about a cup of... Uh, the the l exorbic acid the vitamin c and they can't even taste it so they've been drinking it and also taking vitamin c tablets another thing to get your vitamin c is to take your lemons and but what you need is the pith right so the skin is going to be very bitter so we typically don't mess with that. We'll use it for some zest and put a little bit here and there. But right. we need this pith. Don't go down to the fruit. The pith, the white, is the medicine. That's where your medicine. Oh, okay. And also you okay. want to eat everything, the, the membranes and the seeds. So how I'm recommending to use this is you peel your, your lemons like this and you put them in uh -huh. a blender. And you blend it up. You can put ice, maybe a little stevia, a little honey if you don't have sugar issues, and make a lemonade out of that and drink that every day. And that, and um, and I could drop in the feed when we when we wrap up. Uh, one of my mentors who trained me, Jeff Premack, he has a video where he shows how vitamin C breaks down the lipid coating, the cell wall of certain viruses. Now, of course, wow. this one, this Nova COVID-19, it hasn't been tested because it's brand new. But the ones that are similar to it have a similar shape and a similar behavior. They crumble. But we've known that vitamin C is, is an antiviral. We've known that for a long time. So definitely stay up on your vitamin C. Other thing, protect yourself by staying hydrated. So we know this thing fills up your lungs with mucus. The mucus got the lungs sticking together. That's pneumonia. You can't pull them apart so you can't get a breath.
and then that's the end. We could go 30 days without eating. We could go three days without drinking, but we can't go a minute without breathing. It's very important. So drinking lots of water, have your body weight in, in ounces and water. There you go. <laughs> it will keep your mucus loose. You know, you don't want it to become so tight. And, um, you know, and I, I think that's really, really because most of us walk around, we're dehydrated. We don't really know it. But now we're on lockdown. Drink your water. You have no excuse. <laughs> no excuse. Drink your water. Uh huh. So. High dose vitamin C, maximum hydration, very important. And some of us are starting workout recommend regimens. So that's even more water. And keep your colon clean so you have your immune system. The other thing I wanted to say is um, limit your technology. So number one, all technology has EMPs, right? Electronic um, pulses. And our body has a pulse too. If we're online all day, it's going to interrupt our pulse. So we got to take breaks, take concerted breaks, get out into nature, get our vitamin D, which is a lot of melanated people. We have low vitamin D and that's because we have so much melanin, we could block it out. So we need to be in the sun even more and make it. And I know a lot of doctors are recommending people get supplements and things like that. And that's fine. Uh, it's very hard to absorb vitamin D from most foods. It's in some, some, fish, it's in mushrooms, but it's in the food that's exposed to the sun. So it's just better just to go out in the sun because <laughs> you're only going to absorb about 30% that you ingest. So maximum. So limit your technology, get out in the sun, wipe your phones down. Your phone is like your hand. And that's one of the things I think we're dropping the ball on. We're all on the keyboards. We're all on these phones. We touch things and then we put it to our face. So clean your technology. And of course, you know, as a raw food instructor, we're eating whole raw organic food like that is going to be your baseline. And so it's very tempting to to, like I said, get the shelf stable foods. But right now we can still go out. We can still go to the markets. And as a business owner, I went to the restaurant depot. They had so much produce, it was rotting. And it's sad oh, wow. because we're not thinking like that. Yeah. We're not thinking like, oh, let me get, you know, 25 pounds of onion. Let me get, you know, we're thinking about, you know, toilet paper. Like, that's not going to protect okay. you. <laughs> no. That's right. That's right. So we really got to clean up right now because. The body, you may get exposed. It's easily contagious. You want to be on your A game. And guess what? You're home all day now. So you can prepare food. You don't have an excuse, right? Just buy the right foods. Go to organics. Go to the produce section and get that produce. So while we're on produce, I'm going to talk, bring in a couple of my other um, live food friends. So Onions. Onion is certainly antiviral. We've known this. Grandmama used to cut open an onion and put it in the room when you were sick and it would absorb the viruses and bacteria in it. And yeah. so my, my mother, like one time I got the flu and she sliced the onion in half, put it in a, um, a pantyhose and put the flat part on my wrist and my feet and it drew the fever out. There you go. Yep. There you go. So yep. imagine if you were doing that and you're eating it, right? And I'm talking about raw because it has sulfites in it and that sulfur compound breaks down in heat. And that's why I love raw food because raw food is like the miracle. It has so many phytonutrients and phytochemicals. It's like a pharmacy, right? These things are amazing. So the other thing, the, the brother to the onion is the garlic. So Karma, she talked about the garlic, raw garlic, you know, um, like the other day you and I were talking, my family, I was doing raw that day, but they were doing like a pasta with some pasta sauce and I put some raw sweet potatoes in it, but I also sneaked in some raw garlic. And so, you know, raw, go raw with the garlic, go raw with the onions. People say, oh, what about my breath? But it, it really doesn't matter because you need to have breath, right? We're talking okay. about trying to preserve your breath to even to breathe. So don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. But one of the things, and I haven't done this yet, but one of the things is in my mind, if, if you need a cough syrup, because most of the cough syrups out there in the stores are cough suppressants. 
You need to cough when you, that is the way you pop your lungs back open. So you don't need to get a cough suppressant in my opinion. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is just my experience and my opinion as a mom, you know, as a wellness uh, person. And um, so uh, when you're isolated, if you have to cough, you have to get that out. And one of the things that helps with the cough is making your own cough syrup out of raw gut, garlics and onions and honey and no cooking, just raw. And if you let it sit on your, your countertop, so you mix like in a small little jar, like, you know, maybe in a little ramekin or something like that, you put your honey, you chop up some garlic, you slice up some onion, you let it sit for about two days. So it's going to, the onion and garlic are going to start to ferment and it's going to make watery on the top. And then you can pull them out and then stir up you know, the, the mixture. And now you got a natural uh, cold um, syrup, cough syrup that does not suppress your cough and that it actually builds your immune system. But you do have to keep it in the refrigerator because it's raw. It doesn't have any preservatives, but honey is very antibacterial. So it, it can last for weeks. So um, other thing I have in my hand is ginger. So we talked about ginger, I think on Sunday, but ginger is really good. It's good for your digestive system. Uh, like we always say, 80% of your immune system is in your gut. And so when you have candida problems and fungus problems, that's going to cause leaky gut because those things permeate the guts. And that's going to cause another distraction with your immune system because you got you're eating food is going out in these holes going into your blood a system and then that's leaky gut and then your immune system is always turned on. And so we got to seal up that gut. So ginger is really good for building your digestive fire and building up your stomach. But also you got to cut out the junk, right? We got to get back to the whole foods. Uh, the other thing that I do is rejuvelate. So this is fermented cabbage water. So all it is is a cup of cabbage, three cups of water, blended it and put it in this four cup ball jar. Let it sit on the uh, counter for three days. So three cups of water, one cup of cabbage, sit for three days. That simple. Just blend it up. And it's a little sour, you know, in this cabbage. So it's a little tangy. It's got a little smell, but it has L-glutamine in it. And L-glutamine is amazing amino acid for rebuilding soft tissue. So raw cabbage is amazing to build your stomach. And that's one of the very cheap delivery systems. And always go organic if you can. Um, exercise. So exercise, you know, you got these lymph nodes all over your body. So when you're bouncing, if you have a rebounder or if you just, you know, jumping in your house, you're pulling those toxins out of your lymph areas. You know, you can massage yourself to circulate those, um, you know, the fluids from your lymph nodes to keep them from being blocked and um, just moving. So whether it's walking, stretching, yoga, I, I'm into yoga. So I've become a yogi and a yoga instructor, I think for the last two years. And so I, I concur with karma. I'm doing every day, doing family yoga. We have the time now, why not? And, you know, it makes you feel good. You incorporate your meditation, you're good, right? And, um, and also you're building your immune system. Uh, somebody had a question about the cabbage. What kind of water do you recommend for it to sit in? So that's a good question because water is a, like a five hour seminar. <laughs> you know, should I do alkaline? Should I do this? <laughs> yes. So what I'm going to say to keep it simple is because I've been all over. Like I have a $3,000 alkaline machine sitting right over there right now. But I would say just as long as it's filtered, as long as it's clean, you don't want the chlorine that's, you know, that bleaches, you know, and the fluoride that, that they put into the water. You don't want that to be fermenting in your, your water. So just as long as it's filtered. So if you want to do distilled, alkaline, acidic, whatever, that's fine to, with me. Just let's try to filter it. And what I'm recommending now, and I, and I not affiliate yet, but Berkey, because this whole COVID-9 uh, scenario, even though I have a really excellent alkaline water machine, Naima, I'm like, okay, what if the power go out? Like it's the, it's a flat screen, you know, it's touch screen, it's high digital. 
Like, but what if the power go out? But a Berkey is like a fraction of the cost. It's like $300 and it has all these level of uh, rocks and cinnamon and sand and you pour the oh, water through. It's a gravity feeder. It's the little black rocks on the bottom. Yeah, it's yeah. Because the, the black rights are going to be charcoal. Yeah. So they, yeah, okay. yeah. So they have all different kinds of Berkeys and that's what I'm doing more research on. That's what I'm uh, saving up for. <laughs> Yes, because my husband is like, we just got through paying for that other one. Why you want another one? <laughs> but I'm like, okay, man, I want one that works with rainwater. I want one that works without power. He's like, you should have thought of that before. <laughs> right. All right. So um, we talked a little about uh, vitamin D. So let's talk a little bit about our superfoods. So, uh, so I'm categorizing the superfoods, not necessarily the live foods. Live foods I talked about, they're superfoods too. But I'm talking about foods that you can like live on. Uh, bee pollen. You can actually live on bee pollen. Like it's where not going to get. Where can you find a burpee at? It's um, it's actually Berkey. B E R K E. You can order them online, but it's amazing because I went online. They're on back order. Everybody's thinking like that. Everybody's like, we got to survive this. Yes. It's B R K E. So go online and, um, but it is a wait to get your, to get your machine, but it's, you know, they have machines as low as 200, some as high as 400, but to me it's worth it. It's an investment in your family. Even though I pay 3000 for mine, my my kids drink more water than they would have ever drank if they were drinking tap water or if we were getting it bottle by bottle. And I'm not really a big proponent of uh, plastic bottles because they have hormone disruptors. And um, yeah, so the BPAs, you know, it says BPA free. Yeah. But then it has something else to keep the bottle soft. And those things do leach into the water. So I, I always recommend glass, glass jars, glass bottles, and, and you know, somehow learning to filter your own water. Okay, um, let's see, superfoods. So I told you about, okay, the bee pollen. We were talking about the bee pollen. And that has actually, so you know how we say nine essential amino acids, right? So... Amino acids are what makes proteins. So that's why, you know, plant-based people don't need complete proteins like meat because we get it from any plants. All these plants, they have the amino acids. And if we have them, our body is automatically going to synthesize them into protein. So we can make muscle just with amino acids. So there, there's nine essential ones, right? But bee pollen has all 23 known amino acids. And why that is, is because these little bees, they're going to every plant. They're going to every flower. So they're picking up all these nutrients in, this, in the dust on their, on their knees. This is so valuable. This is as valuable as gold. So this you know, is like, and, it, and it's very shelf stable. It can stay for years. I don't recommend it. I, I recommend you take it. But, you know, this is like apocalypse food. This is this is good, right? Because you, you get everything you need. Another thing. Um, is that a house? Is that a house one you have? No, these are, these are the granules. You see their oh, little. Okay. Yeah, because okay. what happens is they actually taste like honey because they get sticky. So it's the pollen, but it gets sticky into these little granules. It's amazing what these bees can do. They they wow. they're just they're just so divine. Right, right. Um and and it tastes like honey. My kids just eat it off the spoon. You can put it in your cereals. You can you can use it as a sweetener. Like it it wow. is really a perfect food and a superfood. Uh uh chlorella or anything that's going to give you chlorophyll, spirulina, your fresh leafy greens, but your um your powder greens, they're shelf stable too. So, you know, how we running for the uh, comfort foods because it's, you know, like they have no cans on the shelves nowadays, but you can get a bag of, you know, chlorella bag of spirulina. It's going to last for a while. It's going to protect itself. Moringa. This one has 90 minerals, all the known minerals that you need. Like, so moringa is a complete food. So they start taking moringa to these, you know, 
developing countries. Uh, I say that with air quotes because the countries are fine if people stop stealing. But anyway, that's another conversation. <laughs> but but there were you know so much malnutrition issues that the women were not nursing for generations in some of these villages. They, they, um, moringa is grown in the tropics and it, the concept of eating moringa was reintroduced because it's always been there. And, um, now they, they're refusing the packages from international care, from care international, the dried rice and the dried beans and the dried milk because they have moringa. Moringa is much more complete and it's fresh. And for like, it's like, it's like a weed. It's like dandelions for us. That's how moringa is for them. Very prolific, always available. So it's hard for us to get because we don't get hot enough to really grow it like that. But, uh, you know, in the tropics it grows, but when we can get it, when we can get a good source, that is magic. That's all we need. We can live off moringa and be pollen and we could be good. We might be skinny, but we'd be all right. <laughs> Okay, so um, another thing I wanted to talk about uh, with your lemons, you can make a charcoal lemonade with your black charcoal and your lemon and whatever sweetener. Uh, I recommend a high, I've been doing teas for my family. So um, I recommend like an echinacea, rose hip, and sorrel blend. I mean, that's so much vitamin C. <laughs> oh, man, that, that sounds so good. Yes, yes. So, so echinacea, right, to boost the immunity, the rose hips, because they're very high in vitamin C, and the sorrel. And the sorrel is high in vitamin C, too, and the sorrel just tastes so good. It's so, you know, it's so sour and it's so bitter. So that's another thing. So the next thing after cleaning the colon is cleaning the liver. And so the way you clean the liver is what um, Chef B was talking about, eating the bitters, the collards, the mustard greens, the uh, arugula. This will... This stimulates the side of the tongue and it pushes bile through your gallbladder and pushing it through your liver. Because unfortunately, a lot of Americans have fatty liver disease because we eat so much processed food. And um, so getting that liver cleaned is, is really, really important for low, lowering our, our toxic load. Let me see if I mentioned all my friends here. Yeah, now I also have a recipe I wanna share with everyone. So um, in my recipe book, I have citric splash dressing. So that's where you can take your lemons, blend them up with olive oil, garlic, Himalayan salt, and a little bit of honey. And you got a beautiful, you know, sweet and sour salad dressing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know that's good. Yeah, so you don't have to just, you know, drink it as a lemonade and as a tea. You can also eat it over your you know, your raw veggies, your greens, and, and things like that. Uh, I had a couple other things I wanted to mention. It, are there any questions? Uh, let me see. I saw the Berkey. Oh, it says, oh, what kind of water? Yeah, I answered that. Okay, yeah, I think we're caught up on the questions, but if y'all, and somebody says papaya seeds kill parasites, amen. Amen. Yes, they do. <laughs> them things are hot though, but I love them. If you can dry them and chew them, woo, they will get your parasites in balance. Thank you for that. Uh, any other questions or comments? I wanted to recommend I'm some. Looking, I'm scrolling down. Okay. Um, lemon, garlic, Himalayan salt. Okay, the person for the dressing. Yeah, that's what she had said. Yeah, so. Where do you get the calm from? So I got the calm um, online. So Amazon is real backed up. So go ahead and order that tonight. Um, but yeah, that's where I got it from. We're back to the dressing. So the lemon, the olive oil, the garlic, the Himalayan salt and the raw honey. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you just blend it up. Now you could, you could do a shake like this one. Uh, this dressing was just a shake. And you can see that it's uh -huh. just slightly bl blended or you can blend it up and it turns completely white and it's more frothy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a few more things before I wrap up, because we I know we've been going. <laughs> um, but you're the last person, so you good. Okay, great. Else after you. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 
you know, uh, a couple of the speakers this week have talked about elderberry. So I won't go deep, deep into that, but we know that's antiviral. We know that that will stop a flu in its tracks. Uh, and I, I do have that and I do, um, but I'm saving mine. So if people have symptoms in my house, because everything that I shared is, you know, prophylactic to build the temple, right? So uh -huh. you'll need another set of tools. And in my mind, that's the elderberry. Like that's when you're fighting it, you know? So, and it's not right. easy to get because everybody's trying to get it. So I would hold that off. I wouldn't be doing my elderberry every day. Um, right. Talked about the echinacea, the rose hip, the turmeric. So the, the foundation of all diseases is inflammation. Turmeric uh, that's blended with some kind of fat and some kind of... Uh, you know, uh, heat like garlic or pepper or cayenne is an anti-inflammatory. So that allowed the body to relax. And that's important because a lot of us are very tense. Blood pressures are up because, yeah. you know, it's just a lot going on. I mean, I had, I found out about, you know, a loss in my family, a transition in my family. Actually, I had three transitions all from the you know Ohio Michigan area and that area is is really a hotbed. Okay, I got a I got a question. Do you recommend colloidal silver? So I do. Like I used to have when my kids were little, I used to get chronic pink eye from them. They would go touch everything and then come back and touch mommy's face and it's on. And I got so bad with the pink eye that you know, when I went to the doctor, like they couldn't help me. I, I didn't want to take the steroids, but it wasn't even helping anymore. And so I got the colloidal silver. But what I feel like colloidal silver is good for is it more antibacterial. So I don't know and I have not studied or seen anything how it affects viruses. But it's important to have antibacterial foods like the onions and garlic and things like that and the colloidal silver. Why? So we kill off that excess toxicity that we talked about. So, so it's in balance so that if we do get exposed, if we bring it home on our shoe or on a box, that our immune system is ready because it's not overwhelmed right by the waste in our body. But yeah, colloidal silver, I like it for bacterial um, management. Uh, other to, add on to, to add on to that about mm -hmm. the colonial silver, um, yesterday I went to um, Patricia Depot to get my um, water, and the guy he was he had everything that people are request that they need right like, right at the front. It right. was so funny. He had the elderberry, he had the colonial silver um, spray. So what he says is, what you can do is the spray. You can take it and spray it around like this area, and that's going to block you. So because it's since it is an airborne virus. But it will block it. You can take it as well. But then he was like, he just did a little example, spray it around those areas. So yeah. I was like, oh, that's something good to share. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. very good. And kind of on that note, one of the things that I heard today, so what I have been doing with my family before we go out, I'll get some oregano oil and um, uh -huh. and put it in their nostrils and put it in their ears. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. um, some another herbalist today, my dad's in Detroit. So my dad, he's got underlying health conditions. He's 77. So we're like, stay in, stay in. And so yeah. she, she yeah. yeah, she brought him some um some neem oil to do the same thing uh -huh. to before you go out, put it in your nose, put it in your ears with a Q-tip. Okay. So these are just some practices again. You know, I'm not a doctor. Uh Somebody's asking about sea moss and nutrition depot. I'm gonna let you take that, and then they're asking about black seed oil, and I'll take that and go on. Okay. Because um, well, I know you do the sea moss, so I want to plug okay. your sea moss. Let me scroll it up so I can see what the question is. It just says, was, "What about sea moss? What about sea moss?" That's all the question okay. is saying. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, sea moss is. It's a sea vegetable. Oh, sorry. It's a sea vegetable. And it's like 102 trace minerals that we in our body. It's Ooh. good for your immune. Yeah, it's good for your immune system, digestive, and mental support. So there's different kinds of sea vegetables. Um, if you don't know what sea if you're wondering about sea moss, you can just see, think about like um seaweed. So it's down in the ocean like the seaweed, but they're sea vegetables. And um, so they have like they have the purple sea moss, they have the gold one, they have the white one. 
So it just depends on like everybody is uh, doing sea moss now. They're selling it, um, which is so it's a good thing because I remember back in the days, like the only place you would just get it in a smoothie if you go to the health food store or whatever. But it's good to see that everybody is selling it. And I am too. Because yes. <laughs> I was like, you know, this is something that's really good for your immune system. So, um, yeah, basically, that that's what it CMOS does, the immune system, digestive, and mental support. Yeah, um, and, I, and that's what happened when I went raw. I started getting really into my seaweeds. So nori, dulse, uh-huh. kelp. And, and, yeah, the moss. Uh-huh. and the reason why is because we talked about this earlier, like a lot of the American agriculture, you know, the, the soil does not have the nutrients. It doesn't have the minerals. Right. It's depleted. Right. And so, right. um, but in under the sea, you got, I mean, it's like you got, it's yeah. a, oh my God, you got everything under the sea. And then you have the animals. Yeah, it's, a water, it's a water garden. It's a water garden. It, absolutely. You got your salts, you got all your minerals, and then the the animals, you know, the fish and the whales and the things like that, when they disintegrate, you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So it it recycles. And see, that's the problem why our soil is so depleted, because we, you know, we got our bodies in a box and then we take all the minerals out and it's not getting wrap back in you know native americans they used to have burial mounds and then they would plant on top of those and that and they allow like the minerals from people's bones to go back into the soil but see we take really? everything out but we don't put anything back in yeah. oh wow that's mm-hmm. crazy and that's yeah. all balancing that's all that's balancing for the earth yeah oh, wow. absolutely i mean they they did a study and they showed that broccoli in the 1950s had uh, 65% more nutrients than the bro- broccoli that we have today. That it, wow. ours, ours are bigger, brighter, fancier, uh-huh. radiated, right. but they, they, it's right. hardly no nutrients in it. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. also there's studies showing that, um, uh, organic food does have more, uh, nutrients in it. And so that was a question before. It's like, oh, is it just no pesticides? Yeah, it's no pesticides and it has more nutrients. And so what it is, is food is information. And genetically modified food, those that information is wiped clean. And that's why it doesn't repel repair the cells because the body is like, what is that? Like, what, what the heck is that? Like, perfect example, how Asian people, they create lettuce and all that kind of stuff. You know how people are making stuff? Like there's nothing in that. Right. It's just, it's just a, it's a trick. And, um, you know, one of the things where most of our um, minerals are is it's in our seasoning, you know, and that's why we're so attracted to seasoning because those are plants like uh, carefully dried plants there. It's very um, concentrated, all the nutrients. So we love, you know, our paprika. We love our, you know, onion powder, garlic powder, you know, all these things. It's, it's really messaging, you know, because honestly, taste is just perception. But what has happened is that we eat those foods that have those good herbs that, that have minerals, copper, magnesium, and then it tells our body, oh, that tastes good. <laughs> but unfortunately, the you know, the industrial food complex, they use that against us. Like, for example, with Doritos. So when you eat a Dorito, it'll tell your body that you're getting garlic and turmeric and onions, but you're really not. Those synthetic flavors have no minerals in them at all. They have the notes. They have replicas, but they have nothing. And what happens is if you eat it, your body is like, wow, what happened to that that copper and that magnesium you promised me? Now I need another one. And so it creates a a void, a negative uh, feedback loop. Mm -hmm. There's a... um there's a post on Black Vegetarian Society page, and mm-hmm. I shared it on the Veggie Cake page as well. But it talks about the, you know, the guy that originally did the herbs. I forgot what his name is. Oh uh, yeah, I don't remember his yeah. name, but I know who you're talking about. But he's actually talking about the flavor, the chemical, the flavor, uh, the chemicals that they use to flavor the food, the food like strawberry soda. Right, stuff. So right. Yeah. yeah. So anybody wants to, um, yeah. 
Yeah, he was talking about that. But it's crazy. So there's a book called The Dorito Effect, and it talks about how we were addicted to these nutritionally voided foods with synthetic flavors that just mimic mm -hmm. You know, but we can do the same thing with kale. We could put our garlic powder and, you know, turmeric on. Yeah. The, you know, we can season that. That's what we do. That's our legacy. We make something out of nothing. That's that's our creativity. Somebody else was asking about um, where is Nutrition Depot? Oh, there is two of them in um, Gwinnett. It's one in Duluth and it's one in... Um, uh, Oh, actually, both of them. No, I'm sorry. One is in Lawrenceville and one is in um, Duluth. One is on Peachtree Industrial, and then the other one is um, on Duluth Highway. Okay. But you know, if if, if that, you're not in that area, um, there's a good nutrition. There's yeah. Those silver. Um, you know, we want to stay away from Whole Check, which is Whole Foods, because mm. they're gonna charge you an arm and a leg. But there's a lot of this Nanda. Seven Nanda. Yeah, if you did a, a search for health food stores in each little area of Atlanta in the metro area, there's a different one. There's a whole bunch of different ones. So I would just go to the health food store because they're, yes. you know, those are like mom and pop shops and they're local. If you can stay away from Whole Foods because they got enough money, they good. And yeah, they they're good. gonna charge you an arm and a leg for So you can find right. that colonial silver in like any of those health food stores. Yeah, I highly recommend Seven Under. And my number two is Mother Nature and Tucker. Um, seven under for $20 a year, you could become a member and you'll get great discounts. So why not? Why not own a part of the store that provides for your family? Yeah. They have a great, they have a great um, herbal section in Seven Under. They do. Like, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, they have bulk herbs. It's, it's great. I don't know how they're handling it now. But I know that they, they, they're a great resource and they will order for you if you can't find what you need. So the next question was black seed oil. So I wasn't really hip to black seed oil until about maybe two years ago. And so I've been taking it. It's amazing. It's magic. I don't know what it is. It's like black cumin seeds, those things that like supercharged power, right. melanin. They're awesome. <laughs> right, right, right. I just got up on it this year. This year. Yeah, so I highly recommend it. Again, um, I don't know of any studies that says that it's antiviral, but I definitely guarantee that it boosts your immune system, and that's because it's so nutritious. Part of why yeah. our immune systems are can be fragile is because we have nutrient deficiencies, and that's why you know I'm really pushing you know the moringa and the bee pollen, the things that fill those nutritional gaps. That's what the sea moss does; it fills that nutritional gap. So it's like building a house; you got to have the right supplies. You can't build a house with cardboard and think it's going to work. It's it's going to fall down on you. It's definitely going to fall down. It says, I have a different, difficult time finding information on the breaking down of sea moss minerals. Any information on that? Breaking down of um, sea moss minerals. Breaking down? Yeah. I mean, like, um, I'm not exactly like, sure what that means. Um, like the trace minerals is in there? Is that what they mean? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because you can, I'll look for something. Who, what's the person? Let me, let me go. So let me scroll up. And see what the person name is, and I'll try to find uh, it. It looks like it's Doctor or Drip Juice Bar. Oh, okay, okay, I, I, okay, I know who it is. Okay, okay. so I'll, I'll look into it, and um, I'll find, I'll share the information with her. Okay, awesome. Um. So they definitely will try CMOS now. Black Vegetarian Society. Is it a, a Instagram page? Yeah, website. Yep. And Facebook. So best way is uh, Facebook and, and Instagram, right? For, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for Tracy. Yeah, uh -huh. for Tracy. For Tracy, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, black cohosh, good for hot flashes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, what I've been doing, so I can't really speak specifically to that because I haven't been taking it, but I, I do recommend it. Uh, I've been taking maca, M-A-C-A. So maca is a Peruvian turnip. It's a powder. It's very bitter, but it goes well in like your coconut milk, your almond milk, uh, anything like creamy. Yeah, smoothie, bananas. It goes good with that kind of stuff, but don't put it in nothing sour because it's already bitter. But I tell you, it's an adaptogen. So it helps your body adapt. 
So that's what I've been using because I'm I'm 50. I'll be 52 in a few weeks. So that's what I've been using. For, that's what I've been using for my hot flashes and for, you know, just bloating and, you know, just just your goddess, your body changes. You know, your goddess body changes, you know, over the t years. And the I love maca is a very pow powerful adaptogen. And so that's what I've been using. But I have heard that black cohosh is good. Did you want to speak to that? Yeah. OK. It says, didn't know about the $20 fee. Well, at seven under, you don't have to pay the $20 fee. You can join by paying $20 a year until you get to $120. I think that's six years. And um, and then you get discounts. But you can absolutely shop there not being a member. But I highly recommend that you become a member because you will get your money back and more. And then plus, now you now you can vote. So it's your store. You can vote on the board members. You can vote on the products and the lines that they use. So I, I would recommend it. And it's just, it's just, you know, most of the people who work there are hippie, melanated, you know, women of a certain age. I mean, it's just a great community to and be a part of. The, you know, the, the Absolutely. Yeah, and that makes a difference when you go to a store to buy food. You want people that work there to know. You know, something opposed when you go in the store and somebody doesn't even. I went, um, what? I was in some store and, oh, okay, I was at Walmart and I was, um, ringing up the green bananas and, or was it, I think it, no, I think it was mangoes. And the cashier, he was like, um, cause you know how they gotta put the code in? He didn't know what it was. So, you know, it's good, it's always good to know. And not, not nothing on his part, but you know, I'm saying it's just better to go to places where people know the food. Like, say, cause say, what if I didn't, I needed to know something about something, I could ask the cashier that works there or the people that work inside. So that's really important. Yeah. So that's it, a good thing about Germanada. Yeah. And in the wellness department, they actually, I don't know if they still have this, but like one of my friends who wrote a couple of books about being on a melanin diet, like she, she would volunteer there. So the, some of the people who work there, like they're so passionate, they're not even getting paid. They just want to help you. They just want to get you the, you know, the right thing. And somebody asked, what do you all think about burrow bananas? Oh, I always call them the Dr. Sebi bananas. Um, you know, oh, the little, little ones. ones yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have any information on them, but I'm going to, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my, re I'm not even gonna do no research. I'm gonna buy them and I'm gonna make some fries because I saw that you can make fries out of them. No, okay. so, like, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw that that they make fries out of them. So, um, yeah, I don't know anything. I don't, I can't tell you what the vitamins and stuff in it, but. Um, but I'm sure, you know, you could Google, they'll have that in there, but, um, I yeah. can't wait to make some fries. When I see them, I get them. They're not that easy to get, you know, but when I see them, I get them. And I, I just have it in my mind that they're bananas on steroids because they're not hybridized. They're not GMO. They're like more native. And so yeah. they, they taste good. They taste yeah. just like bananas, a li actually yeah. a little bit more flavorful, actually, oh. you know, mm -hmm. okay. somebody well, said about, oh, go ahead. With the green banana, um, I buy those because I make tostonas out them. Oh, okay. So I can see where, yeah, I love tostonas, so I I can see where the um the the um the green the little uh what do you call them again the burrow the burrow I can see mm -hmm. where that could be a good fry because once it's in its green state, it's a different you know it's not like it's right. it's um ripe or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's what I love about plantains. Like it's a different food at every stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. exactly. Definitely. Once it's dark, it's a sweet dessert. But when it's green, it's toast on it. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah. So somebody um, chimed in and said they sell the burrow bananas at the Austell Farmer's Market. Or they said they sell them at the Austell Farmer's Market. And so I've made... They have them, yeah, they have them at... Um, Nandi Moon carries them too. Okay. All of the farmers market. I think all of the farmers market. Because I know I've seen them at Nandi Moon. Before. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the last questions that I see, or I think this is the last question is about herbs for fibroids for heavy cycles. So um, the speaker on Sunday, she talked about how she healed her fibroids and how it she had a, she expelled a mass. And the main yeah, she said nettle, right? Did she say nettle? Yeah, she said nettle. But uh, but what I took away from it, um, 
most is that she t- completely just went vegan and cleaned up her yeah. her life. Yeah. And so heavy cycle, that's from uh, food. That's food related. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because I can tell the difference when I'm off my path and acting up, you know, I'm going to have a rougher cycle. And another thing, too, goes back to the hydration, you know, because, you know, there'll be, you know, the lining, the ut- uterine lining gets thick, just like we talked about the mucus gets sick that gets thick and that's the the cramping that we can feel when when we're expelling those um those clots if they're if there's no water you know if they're just really sticky so yeah hydration i would say like i said i do the maca that helps regulate my periods um and fibroids yeah clean clean because what they're doing yeah they're eating the sugar they're eating the processed foods and they're loving it so you got to stop feeding them. You got to cut off their supply. And that's what they do with the, um, you know, when they go in there with the laser, they're cutting off their blood supply, but you can cut off their food supply and it's just as effective. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's all the questions they have and comments. And that's all that I had, you know, that's all that I had where well, I've been talking for hours. So. <laughs> It's all, it's all good. You have a lot of good information, and that's what this was about. You know, wanting people to share, like, these are things you can do when you go to the grocery store instead of buying, you know, where you're going to get your real vitamins and your supplements from to boost your moon. So that's, you know, that's why I did it. Just the people that just share, everyday people just sharing what it is that they do to keep their immune system up. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I'll just quickly recap. I won't go over everything, but the things that I think are important is getting out, making that vitamin D. That's very, very important. High dose vitamin C. So I would say at least 2000 MGs a day. Hydration, Mm -hmm. drink half your body weight in water. Get that colon clean, eat bitters, clean that liver, eat raw, eat organic. Um, Exercise, you gotta move your body. Can't just be laying around all day because that, you know, that's stagnation. And um, concentrate on your shelf-stable superfoods, and we'll get through this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get through it. We're yeah, gonna get through it. we yeah. absolutely are. That that's one of the beauties I'm seeing, and is how all the communities are pulling together, supporting people. It, it's amazing. It, it's really, you know, it's really heartfelt. It's it's yeah. it's. You know, it's too bad it has to be in such a, a, a time of sorrow and grief, but we right. will get through this. It happens about every year. You know, Mother right. Nature has her own things that she's doing, and yeah. some people have yeah. other yeah. theories. <laughs> yeah. <My team>. yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> other people. Yeah. yeah. So so we can't we can't do, we can't have any control over like how much whole food costs. We can control what we do with our temple. So take control. Take control. And what we put in it. And yes. What we put in it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And also, oh, no. yeah, I have a, a cleanse coming up April 13th. If you want to know more about it, you can just go to my oh, yeah. website. I'll put no, it in, I'll put oh, it in no, the feed. Your website and everything. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, did you what'd you say? It's about to cut off in 11 seconds. Go ahead oh. and say your website. Okay, rocket.com. R-A-W-X-I-T.com. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Where are y'all going? No, oh, really? So, did you look at the blush that I showed you? No. Mm-mm.
I'm going to still up. I hear this. I'm crunchy. Yeah. That color? Yeah. Okay. You can order it. Here, help me put some of this stuff in. Do you have any brushes I can use to put it on? I do, I do. And they and I saw a hack of how to clean your brushes with alcohol. Like you, okay. you spray it, put it in a spray bottle. Let me clean clean this area up. Can you put those away, those glass things with them? You know. Keep them off the floor. Did they leave them? No, I'm coming. I'm going on the walk. Yummy, 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 Hello? Hey, Zuri. Zuri. Hey, I think your phone is still streaming. Is it? Hello? Are you online? Who, me? Hey, you are on YouTube. Oh, okay, Hi. let me get it off. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. I forgot I was on YouTube. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so funny. So I just wanted to let you know. So you thank know. you, thank All you. Right. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Okay. <laughs>